President Biden promised progressives a big student loan handout, but Republican-led lawsuits have put the brakes on everything. Borrowers owe more than $1.5 trillion in total student loan debt. And for some, the return on investment, that's not really worth it, is it? I hit the streets of New York City to find out exactly what people think about matriculation. Watch. Did you go to college? Did you like college? Did you have fun in college? Did you? Was it good to you? I think that's called ghosting. You're an adorable, attractive couple. Did you go to college? I'm currently in college. Did you go to college? Um, I did, and then I dropped out to be a porn star. Has anyone ever told you that college is a waste of money? No. Do you like the Dodgers? Yes. Did you go to college? No. Trade school. How much do you expect to leave college? How much debt will you have? Zero. Why? Oh, my parents pay for my college. Oh my God, can I meet your parents? What would you tell someone who's in high school right now? Would you tell them to go to college? It depends on what they're wanting to do with their future. Like if you're wanting to be a doctor, absolutely, you have to go to college. But if you're really wanting to break free of the brainwashing of nine to five, be your own boss. And you don't have to work in the sexual industry. What are you doing now? Uh, HVAC. How much student debt did you have when you were done? None. How much? Zero. How much did you make your first year when you were done? My first. I don't want to put it on TV. <laughs> 200000 a year. We got a porn star and an HVAC millionaire. What a country. Take your college and shove it up your honey hole. Did you love what you studied? I loved what I studied, but more than that, I loved my extracurricular activities. What was that? Chicka bow bow. Yeah. I'm one man on the street and asking people about their college experiences. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sir, whoa, whoa. sir. Are you kidding me? Young man, I just need a moment of your time. What, what is this for a Larry Kudlow show or something? You look like a learned individual. Do you regret- I don't want any name calling here. Do you think that the government should be forgiving even more student loan debt? They should be forgiving student loan debt. They should be giving my mortgage debt. They should be giving the debt on the shoes I just bought. Did you go to college? No, man. My mother would be in a financial hole taking out student loans and financial aid for me. So I didn't want to put her in a financial hole. And plus, I didn't know what I wanted to do. There's a sick Lambo I got my eye on. Do you think your parents would maybe finance that? Maybe after my Lambo. <laughs> All right, I get Lambo number two. There's definitely ways out of like going to college and having to spend the rest of your life paying off student debt. Should I go to college? Uh, you should definitely go to elementary school. What a <laughs> sick bird, Bradberg. All right, the nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office claims the president's student loan plan will cost taxpayers at least. $400 billion, Republicans rightly blasting him as a big spender. He says, that's a load of malarkey. I'm going to hug a ghost. I'm so sick of Republicans saying we're the big spenders. Give me a break. Give me a break. I know I'm being banged up by the Republicans, but come bring it on. Bring it on like Donkey Kong and Bang it on. Mm. Well, he's not helping. Is this bailout just a vote buying scheme? And what about skyrocketing college costs? The panel is back, Carol Markowitz, Kevin Walling, and Hannah Cox. Um, Carol, these are things that we have to think about when we have children. Is it worth going into debt? Yeah. Uh, because I can't imagine that every generation, every student from here on out is going to have student loan forgiveness. Yeah. I mean, I always say that going to graduate school was the biggest financial mistake I've ever made. I think that had I known not to do that, uh, that would have been good. Um, I, I took out loans, and I, I don't think I got very much out of it. And Biden's plans to shift the uh, income from the working class to the professional class should have never been approved in the first place. It's insane that he compares this to PPP loans. Um, first of all, it was the government that closed the businesses and had to give them the PPP loans. Nobody forced anyone to go get a college degree or an expensive graduate school degree or a law degree or an MD, and your plumber shouldn't have to pay for that degree, and it's just that simple. Well, and also the PPP loans, uh, a total corruption magnet, Kevin. You know, here, there, oh, yeah. was, there was no vetting oh, process. 100%. And therefore, you know, w and Carol is right in that the government shut down businesses, but then did a horrible job of, of putting this program together, and now we are billions and billions in the hole because it, dead people got loans. Yeah, Ken, and, and we're finally getting some accountability on that front with the DOJ uh, ramping up investigations into PPP loan fraud and prosecuting folks and hopefully trying to get some of that money back. But I think you made such an excellent point in that Women on the Street uh, segment with 
just how expensive college is. God bless that kid that is having his parents pay for it. And I think shining a light, especially on that Dodgers fan uh, who went to technical school, uh, is something we should hold up uh, in our society. Uh, and trade schools are so fundamentally important as are community colleges. And not every kid has to go to a $50,000 a year liberal arts degree college. There are so many jobs, especially with the infrastructure bill, CHIPS bill, where we need people building things in this country and to focus on trade schools and away from uh, you know, this four-year degree being the, the epitome of society, I think is so important in your segment. And what we talked about in the past couple of years shines a light on that, for sure. Yeah, and, and it was really interesting just getting, you know, I was only out there for a few minutes getting a cross-section of people, Hannah, who had very different experiences and different perceptions of colleges. But the Democrats are saying everyone has to go. Like, it is our moral obligation to send people to college because it is a good in and of itself. It's not. I mean... The fraud is happening with the colleges and universities that have no accountability, uh, who allow people to take out debt for majors that will earn them almost no money. Yeah, it's really frustrating to watch this cycle just repeat and repeat and repeat. They've already pretty much destroyed K through 12th education in this country. They've made those degrees all but worthless, and now they want to do the same thing to higher education. At the end of the day, we don't need the vast majority of the population to go get these kinds of degrees. Kevin's absolutely right. We need people that can do actual jobs, that can create things, that can build companies, that can do actual labor and go to trade schools, and that should be encouraged. We need to stop stigmatizing those things and really elevate them and, and help people understand the kinds of opportunities that are out there for them. And then we also need to actually address the reasons why college got so expensive in the first place. Yes. And that is because the government got involved in the free market, started throwing a ton of money into this system. It removed all accountability. It basically said that anybody now can take out $50,000 a year and go pay for these degrees that aren't actually worth that in the market. If you actually had capitalism in the system, very few people could afford to pay forty, fifty thousand dollars a year for a college degree. That means the colleges would have to adjust their rates. They'd have to lower them. Many of them would have to close, and they'd have to actually start offering degrees that really pay something in the real world, or they would close their doors. That's not going to happen because instead, Democrats just want to keep taking our money and basically giving corporate welfare to these universities and institutions. It makes zero sense. Yeah. It will do nothing to actually bring the cost down. It will be paid for by people who are in the working class, and it will continue to make college more expensive down the road. It's asinine. I don't understand how people can just sit there and watch this happen. It makes no sense. Yes, and uh, a good friend of mine pointed out that colleges with large endowments are essentially hedge funds. Uh, but yes, yeah. it, is, it is a different no type doubt. of corporate welfare, and we have to do more to change the system than give out free money 